Now what I want to do is roll into the Q and A. We're just going to do 10 minutes here. And while we're doing it, I'm going to create a Twitter spaces. I'm going to take your questions. You can talk right to me and we'll just do it over there. I don't know if I'm, I know a lot of people do Twitter spaces, but I don't know if they've done it like this, where we do this here in you know, YouTube and we take everything over to Twitter spaces and you can ask the questions directly to me. You can tell me whatever you want to. You can say, Rob, here's a question. Why did you always talk about Voyager and how great it was and it collapsed? Answer me that and I will. Or you can say, Rob, what are you DCing right now uh, specifically and why? Whatever. So we'll do all that. But right now, let's do a little Q&A so people don't, don't feel like they got, uh, you know, short change because no, some people don't have Twitter. So let's just do a little Q&A. All right. Bot. Hey, Todd. Rusty bot. I wonder how I react when the market turns. I almost went crazy five days ago and we had a one green day. I don't know if I can handle it. This is why I'm always complaining to people about taking profits, just little profits, because it's um, it's like muscle memory. You know, when you when you grease the wheels, it's a little bit easier to do these things. It's like taking baby steps. So when you have to sell when the time comes, then you're like, okay, I've done this before with a little bit. I can up my game and do it, as opposed to never selling anything and going, you know what? Today's the day, 100% I sell. Very tough to do. I, I'm thinking 90% of you can't do it, or maybe even higher. And I know that because it was hard for me to do it. Bill Bones is here. Meme is here. Des is here. <sighs> Let's see. Tesla. No, everybody's here. What's going on? Vicky's here. Uh, I've been DCing Bitcoin weekly all year and increased my DCA videos under Luna. There's a it's not a bad plan, actually. That's That would be dynamic DCA. Pretty good. I like that. When tax having. Yeah, it's not going to happen. The government needs those taxes. Look, they gave us a bunch of money in the stimmy checks. They need that money back. That's why they're going to try to pass some more tax incentives. and It'll be awful. But that's just how it is. Let's see. 18. So at minute 25, we'll shoot on over to uh, Twitter Spaces. Uh, where else are we? CZ thinks 99% can't do it. CZ thinks 99% can't self-custody. That's what he thinks, which is a pretty good way to say, keep all your crypto on my exchange. <laughs> well, Brian, do you feel Steve Ehrlich should be prosecuted? Also, why has he been hiding? Lastly, you think Voyager token will be worth something again? I'll start with the first one. You think Voyager token will be worth something again? Maybe, but extremely doubtful. Uh, whoever's going to buy Voyager, I mean, you might get somebody like Binance. If Binance buys Voyager, they just want the customers. They don't want the app. Uh, that, that goes away. There's another one, uh, Inex, Inex, INX. If they buy it, they want to keep the, the app going. And then, of course, the VGX token will stay. And that's even NIF. So highly probability VGX is now worthless. I don't know why people are trading it, but it is what it is. I don't really care about that trading, trade, trade, trade is trade. And I'll answer the first one. Steve Ehrlich should be prosecuted. No, I don't think Steve Ehrlich specifically should be prosecuted. I don't think that he did something malicious, such as, I mean, it was malicious and it was a pretty dumb idea to loan out $640 million uncollateralized to Three Arrows Capital. Okay, you got me on that one. However, uh, this wasn't something where you're transferring funds, co-mingling, buying property for your friends and family that were funds from actual customers and going, oh, I didn't know I couldn't do that. So there's a big difference between what, say, a Steve has done and even what an Alex Mashinsky has done to what a Sam Bakeman fried has done. And that's for, for the uh, lawyers to figure out. Let's see. Just got caught up in the money in green. Well, haven't we all? Ron DePaul says, is there any advantage to DCing every day versus weekly, bi-weekly or monthly? It's be a good show to, to see which one works out best. Um, there is a problem with DCing every day, and that is that you have to pay those fees every single day. So if you're on Coinbase like I am, if you buy every single day, you incur a charge every single day that you do that. However, there's... Um, I was on a, I think it's called Coinbase One. 
I think it's $29.99 a month or $39 a month. And it waives all the fees up to $10,000. So that allows me to DCA Bitcoin every day and also to DCA uh, some layer one solutions every week. And that's it. So weekly, buy with care monthly, I'm not for sure. I think it would be interesting to see. But again, we do it like weekly or even monthly. It just depends on the time frame, right? I mean, numbers go up, right? But not all the time. Numbers will go up, but it all depends on how much. So like, what was the high this month? 20,000 something. Uh, and then of course, the low was, well, in November, it was 15.7. So if you would have hit 15.7 and that was your buy day, great. Chances are you didn't hit that. So let's see. Uh, let's roll. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Morning, Rob. I DCA weekly. Yeah. The bear market always feels long. It doesn't matter. This is what, this is what causes people to capitulate. It's not the price action. It's the boredom. So Jane Chow says the Fed find the inflation that the Fed created. Well, that's true. I mean, once you print a bunch of money, that's what happens. All the pain coming in the next depression. Never forget to let them misdirect. Inflation was purposely orchestrated. Mm. Orchestrated very well. <laughs> Joey, that's a little dark. I can't say that. Uh I always buy in bite-sized pieces. <laughs> how much? How much would Beardy's? How much would SPF pay for Beardy's rope and a soap? That's a good question. Probably for probably the entire amount of Beardy's EOS, EOS holdings. Let's see. Argentina. Yeah, me too. Okay, so that's it. 23 minutes. I think we've, we've gone long enough for the Q&A. So look, what I'm going to do now before everybody leaves, let's do, uh, let's figure this out. Ah. So I'm going to create this because Twitter spaces is weird. You can't do it on desktop that I know of. Correct me if I'm wrong, but to create a Twitter spaces, you have to do it on your phone for some stupid reason. And what I'm going to do... So you can, you know, in Twitter spaces, you can actually talk right to me, like not text, but talk like here. Q&A after today's video, which was, what was today's video title? Crypto set to explode, thousand X gains. No, that's not, that was it. Ah, son of a gun. So... I'm going to start this now. Let's see how this works out. And okay, cool. Cool. What I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to drop this into the chats. Everybody click on that. You can go to Twitter Spaces and talk to me. My mic is off. Hold on, everybody. I'm just bringing everybody over from YouTube. We'll start the Twitter spaces in a second. Hold tight. Let's see. And then I also want to take over here. Let me go Twitter spaces Q&A. Ooh, this ought to be fun. Okay. Everybody, that's it. Hope to chat with you live, and I'll see you in a bit. So thanks for stopping by. If you got to take off, take off. You've been here 24 five minutes. That's it for this round. See everybody on Twitter. Thanks so much for stopping by. Adios.